Hello everyone. This is Radheshwari Vijayanand from ragskitchen.net. I got request from my follower friends for a kitchen tour. So I am going to take you through my kitchen. Early last year we did our kitchen renovation and ever since we did I wanted to do a kitchen tour but just now this is happening let me start so right next to the stove left hand side top cabinet i have kept all the pulses i use regularly so i have kept tur dal moong dal chana dal masoor dal i have kept uh, this gram dal i use for chutney and couple of floors i use frequently like corn floor and rice floor I have kept all these in the front row since I use very often. In the back row I have kept pasta and semia on either sides and upma items like poha, rava and sago, jaggery and fryams. I use this often but not every day so I have kept behind. So now in the upper rack I have nuts we munch on for snack on either sides. In the middle or the legumes I use quite often. Uh, like chana masala is made every week for ajay so i kept it in the front row back row we have things like millet quinoa black urad green moong peanuts and corn kernels couscous and white sugar i take white sugar only for making sweets and desserts so it's in the back now moving on to the top rack pasta machine and its accessories Next to it in the wooden box is the early herbal powder my mom passes to me and i have the puttu maker that's about it let's move on to the middle cabinet right above the stove so up there i have two spice boxes one for tempering items and other one for having spice powders if you see i have all the south indian tempering items in this and this one have spice powders that is masala powders all at one place in the front i have asafoetida both solid and powder asafoetida i use quite often in all my everyday cooking on the other side i have palm sugar candy and cooking soda moving on to the left side I have biryani leaf then cumin seeds fenugreek seeds and kashmiri red chili powder these things i refill very often so i have kept in the front row behind i have kept curd chilli that is mor malagai and then kashmiri red chillies whole black pepper and mustard so on the second rack i have floors atta maida and besan i use quite often and on the right hand side i have urad dal red chillies and coriander seeds so these are very economic glass jars with screw lids from ikea they are so handy for grocery storage moving on to the top rack I have three containers where I keep bottles and vadoms my mom, mom in law and mother passes to me every year now it's just empty as we didn't travel this year on the right hand side I have appam pan and paneeram pan next to it I have a wire basket in which I have kept all the murku press idiyappam press and such things in that If you see in the middle I have two switches one is for the kitchen hood and the other one is for LED strip which we have installed under the cabinets it makes the counter top look brighter and also helps me with the photography Now let's move on to the right hand side cabinet So in the lower rack I have kept basmati rice and jeeraga sambar rice over here I have two containers in which i have kept sambar powder and parpa puri below i have pepper mill to grab it easy since the cabinet have a small door it's so easy to reach and it's just above my stove moving on to the second rack 
I have kept three different types of rice: red berry rice, Kerala matta rice, and brown basmati rice. Kerala matta rice I use for swapping or regular sona masuri rice whenever we get bored of it. And uh, the red berry rice and brown basmati rice I cook whenever I make Thai curries. Now let's see what's in the top rack. I have the whole spices like cloves, cardamom, and cinnamon. So that's about it. All these three whole spices I have also kept in my fridge door. So these three containers are fridge magnets, so you can stick like this. So I have kept all the whole spices sorted in this first one. This one has uh, star anise and Marathi mugu, which I use for um, bisabela bath kind of things. And this one I use for tempering for kurma and biryanis. You will also see some random fridge magnets we collect when we travel over my fridge door. So this is my 450 liter fridge, two door fridge with freezer compartment in the bottom. Above the fridge I have a cabinet. So in these two rows, I keep uh, things that I rarely use. I occasionally bake, so all my baking trays are here. In this one, I have assorted cookie cutters and skewers kind of things. And next to it, I have my hand blender. I use my mixi often, so I keep my hand blender here. Above that, I have a boondi ladle, which I will not use that much, only whenever I make sweets and a random baking tray, glass ba baking tray, and over which you will find a non-stick uh, appam kadai. The next one is a big container which I use for idli dosa batter only when uh, we have guests over and so many people are there. And that's it about this cabinet. Now let me show you my tall unit. On the top, I have a cabinet with glass door. In this, I have kept large pots, which I rarely use, and some plates. And these are measuring jugs, which I use for shooting. And that is also used for shooting. On the top shelf, I also have some random stuffs, mostly which are gifts from my friends and my mother-in-law. Now, below this, so I have a cabinet with door. In this, we were supposed to install a microwave oven, but we are not using my microwave oven anymore. So I have kept my mixie permanently here. Behind that, I have kept three caddies. In the first one, I have sauces, chili sauce, hot sauce, and pasta sauce. And I also have honey placed there. In the next one, I have rarely used ingredients like sesame seeds which I don't use often this is kalonji seeds and similar stuffs here in the last one I have syrup vinegars and two flavoring waters like kevra water and uh, rose water in the front I have kept two canisters one with sugar and one with coffee powder That's all in this cabinet. Below this cabinet, I have my built-in oven. I use oven weekly. I make uh, baked pasta for Ajay. So I use it weekly at least once. Below which, I have a small drawer. So I have placed this oven dish in which uh, I bake the pasta conveniently here to reach easily. And also I have the baking sheets, aluminium foil, cling wrap, some sandwich bags, gloves and clips, bottle brushes. And I also have the manual here to refer for the temperature. Next to the small drawer, I have a larger one inside which I have the kitchen appliances. So in this bigger drawer, I have kept all my kitchen appliances like my toaster, I have one chopper, this is one coffee maker, my mixie jars and sandwich maker. 
So if you see my countertop, it is a basic black one with just some glitter effects. In the right hand side of my stove, I have placed this oil caddy. You must have seen this oil containers in all my videos. And next to it, I have kept my kids uh, health drink and my granola here. And beside my oil caddy, I have kept uh, rock salt and table salt, which I use for everyday cooking. So right next to my stove, in the right hand side, I have my drawers. The first drawer have the most used stuffs like lighter, tongs and I have kept my IKEA knife sharpener here. I use this every day and I just love this. And behind I have kept three small containers in which I have uh, organized rubber bands. This funnel I use for filling oil for my oil caddy and some clips to grab easily. I have uh, peelers in this separator and some small lids in this one. And then I have all my spoons to reach easily in this. In the second one, I have all my larger ladles I use for everyday cooking. The next one have filters, wooden ladles, the garlic press. This is also my one of my favorite IKEA product. I use this always. Then some metal straws and whisk and I have this wooden citrus press. In the last drawer, I have kept my graters and the rolling pin and the other stuffs I use for making roti. I have some dusting floor in this. So that's about the drawers. Now let me show you the cabinet right below my stove. So I have kept my rice, eating rice and idli rice in these two steel containers that I bought from India. Next to it, I have placed tamarind, rock salt and uh, some more table salt in this glass jaws I got from IKEA. There is one more oil caddy. In this, I have kept uh, sunflower oil and other oils in the behind and also my homemade ghee container. Now in the below rack, I have this box with unopened groceries. So I like to arrange in such a way that whenever I see, I could see what, what is there. I don't like to stack it. I also have another box. In this box, I have opened groceries and some random snacks. That's all in this cabinet. Before continue looking at the cabinets, let me share few things I was specific about while remodeling. I was very specific about the backsplash that is the area behind the stove. This is a single piece of glass all the way until the end. It's a breeze to clean this uh, glass and like earlier I found it hard to clean the grout in between my tiles in this area. And this is my glass top stove. I'm using this for more than 10 years now. In this also, the glass surface is very easy to clean. And also about the lighting in my kitchen. So instead of having a single light source, we thought of having this uh, light rail system for having a more dramatic look. So one more thing I was specific about the doors were the soft closing system. Even for drawers, we installed the soft closing system. So for the kitchen walls, we have the kitchen tiles all the way up until the wall. So it is easy for cleaning. Okay, now let's move on to the storage. So I have two large pull-out drawers here. In the top drawer, I have plates rack on the either side. These are uh, dinner plates and some lids. These are smaller lids I have organized in a plate rack. I also have the everyday using vessels in this, stacked here. So let me show you the lower pull-out drawer. 
I have some bulky cooking items like cooker, idli pot and the idli dosa batter container. In this uh, whole stack, I have all the mixing bowls. Next to it, I have some extra saucepans and the appropriate lids over there. I also have some spare idli stand there and I have also kept my cutting board there. These two full out drawers are very convenient for me as my dishwasher is here and I, when the cycle is over, I just uh, take out the dried dishes and arrange it in the drawers. Over this uh, dishwasher, I have one IKEA dish drainer. In this, I don't keep heavy items, just uh, I keep my cups and water glasses so that I could grab easily. I also have placed my knife block over there so that it will be easily reachable when I work in this countertop. Next to it is my washing machine. So that's the one side of my kitchen. Let's move on to the other side. So in this side of my kitchen countertop, I have kept my grinder and bread maker in one corner. On the other corner, I have this water filter. This water filter is with hot and cold dispenser. I have two favorite appliances in my kitchen. One is my dishwasher, the next one is this water filter. Because this hot water dispenser is a savior while I am cooking, I can use the hot water to speed up my cooking. The cold water dispenser also saves a lot of time because we all three drink cold water, so I don't need to fill and keep it in my fridge. So it saves space in my fridge also. Over this filter, I have kept my Google Nest Hub. I love to listen music when cooking alone in the kitchen. Also, I found it useful to set a timer for simmering a, a dish. Uh, I'm so known for my forgetfulness. It also helps you in finding a recipe or reading out it and such things. Here are some recipes I found. Right above the sink, I have this pull-up door cabinet. In this cabinet, I keep uh, every day using kadai and uh, Whenever I wash vessels, after the dish drains, I keep it here for drying. Above this pull-up door cabinet, I have this place where I have kept the ice cooker. I also have a flask over there. On the other side of this, I have kept this plastic colander kind of bowl which we use for washing vegetables. On the right hand side, I have kept the accessories I use for uh, grating coconut and Ajay's lunch boxes. In the top cabinet, I have some water bottles and the unused uh, mixi jar and some lunch boxes which I don't use anymore. So here is my sink area. Here also we have installed LED lights under the cabinet to make this work area brighter just like the other side. I opted for a double sink. I use this sink only for washing and this sink only for draining dishes. Since I use my dishwasher mostly and I use this sink only for washing the vessels, I, I need to wash with my hands. So mostly it is bulky items like cooker or idli pot. So after I wash, I just drain my dishes in this sink. And below the sink, it's the usual stuff you will find in any under sink cabinet. I have kept all my cleaners over there in this caddy and the dishwasher detergent and washing machine detergent. And here I have kept some extra cleaners and some clothes I use for cleaning, microfiber clothes. And next to the sink is another cabinet. So in the top shelf, I have kept my cast iron tawa and uh, kadai here. Inside you will see some pasta plates and some IKEA graters. So in the lower shelf, I have kept a separator over which I have kept all the cookers I have. One is for biryani, one small pressure cooker that I use for making one pot dishes like chana masala and kurmas. And the third one is the recent gift from my mother-in-law, the clip-on pressure cooker. And below also I have kept all the uh, cooker pressure cooker accessories and some large mixing bowls, sieves, etc. And I have also kept that uh, small idli plates over there inside. In the front, I have kept my mortar pestle, which I use for uh, making masala choy or ginger choy. And sometimes I also use for making fresh rasam powder. That's all in this cabinet. 
so let me show you this drawers in the top drawer i have kept my measuring cups and of course a kitchen scale these stuffs i use for my shooting and even in everyday cooking in this drawer i have uh, these cups which i use to take my ingredients for my shooting so i have kept it conveniently here and in this area i have kept assorted stuffs like uh, can opener and this one is and this one is an egg slicer but i use for uh, slicing cooked potato or rb so that i can get even thickness i also have some turners herb scissors and random stuffs ice cream scoops in the other side i have the accessories i need for grinding uh, idli dosa batter and that is my cheese or chocolate shaver in the lower pull out drawer i have my new lee crusset set i bought recently so that's all in these drawers and here is another tall unit which we initially planned to keep um, mops and broomsticks and other stuffs but we haven't implemented yet but we have kept kitchen towels and cleaning things and some extra sponges over there and some random stuffs which i don't want to concentrate much so that's all in this tall unit i also have this small window over here through which we can pass our cooked items to the dining area on the other side so here is my kitchen island trolley uh, before renovation we had uh, some extra cabinets here we removed it and now having this i use this for shooting videos you would have seen this sometimes i use this area for chopping and other kitchen works below here i have kept all my onion basket tomato basket this i have kept my ginger and garlic small onions potato i also have this cabinet storage below inside which i have kept all my frying pans in this organizer also have some kadais here the metal strainers are hanged in the sides with the sticker hooks so that's it inside The trolley also have these hanging hooks where I have measuring spoons and a couple of wooden pot holders. So with that we have come to the end of my kitchen tour. Hope you all like this kitchen tour. If you have any other request do comment below and if you like this video and have not yet subscribed do subscribe to Rags Kitchen. I have so many recipes in my website ragskitchen.net. Do check it out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.